Good afternoon, guys. Here we are. We're at the Baxter State Park entrance. It took us about five and a half hours uh, of travel time to get from Boston up to here. But that's with stopping for gas, stopping for coffee, and uh, stopping for the well-needed potty breaks. With that said, we are about to enter Baxter State Park. And we do not have cell service anymore. So once you enter Baxter State Park, no matter what cell service you have, you probably aren't going to have any service. So. Hey guys, we just checked in through the Baxter State Park main gate where you will be paying a $16 non-resident uh, entrance fee, which is good for the entire stay that we're going to be here, as we're staying at Roaring Brook and at Chimney Pond Campgrounds. Uh, it is an 8 mile run up a gravel road, it's about 25 miles an hour, so it'll take you a little bit to go those 8 miles, but we will be getting there shortly and show you what we have. All right, guys, here we are. There's Raven. Hey, guys. We just got to our lean to, and uh, we're going to kind of see what it looks like and show you guys. So, lucky number seven. Got a nice little campfire set up. And actually, a nice lean to. One bench for you to sit on for your campfire. Free firewood. And a nice area that's actually big enough to hold a tent uh, and keep you out of. I'm standing on it now and keep you out of the weather. How cool is that? Pretty cool. I like it. And right outside of our camp, you can hear it, is the roaring of Roaring Pond. Which to me is a great water source. There's Roaring Pond. Beautiful. Down around there. Sound of the running water at night. Great cool water source. Very picturesque and serene. What do you think, Raven? Love it. Love it, love it. Alright guys, we're gonna set up camp. Check back in with you later. How cool is this guys? About a good foot and a half off off the ground. You don't have to worry about rodents, ants, mice, stuff of that nature. You definitely don't have to worry about water. A four person tent actually fits underneath here. I'm six foot two. We also got hooks here. This is what I'm holding on to. You can actually put yourself up a curtain over here. Probably put, put up a screen or something like that if you want a, a barrier for the bugs. Have breakfast in the morning. Yep. Yeah, All right, so we're going to get finished setting up and have our dinner. Hey guys, we're all set up on camp now, so we decided to sit down and have a good bite to eat. Finally. Finally. It's about uh, 4 10. We got some good Subway foot longs. In, in addition to a, a nice, good glass of wine. All right, guys, so we uh, got dinner. 
got camp all set up had a little campfire so we thought we'd just take a walk to see kind of where the trailheads are at and what we're going to have for tomorrow morning uh as you can see there there is a swim area below so you can actually go swimming in the brook hard in the hands uh no soap food scraps in the brook thank you because people do get their water sources out of there uh as you see the one trailhead here it's going to be uh, we're going to go check out the uh, Sandy Stream Pond Trail right now, which is only one-tenth of a mile uh, due to it getting dark. But the uh, moose are supposed to be out right now. Hey guys, we're right here on the trail. And all we have in front of us but a moose. He's a little guy, though. He's not big. Which means Mama might be somewhere around here. Drinking water and eating fresh greens, it looks like. And he is definitely not afraid of us. So. Just want to give you guys this cool little treat before we start Baxter State Park tomorrow. Say hello, Mr. Moose. You're awesome. Beautiful. Thanks for the show, big guy. Mm -hmm. 